Hey, Kota. Hey, Alexi. How are you guys doing? Hello. Hey. How are you? Good, thanks. Hey, Where are you guys? Uh, now I'm in Toronto. Uh, I'm back home with family in Ottawa. So for this choreographic workshop, we invited all the choreographers to create solos either inspired by Giselle or Etudes because they were the two oldest works in our fall season last year. Mm -hmm. And we wanted to share with our audience new interpretations of these themes that have been around in ballet forever. And I know you chose Giselle because you yes. love Giselle. So can you talk a bit about what inspired you to make something connected to Giselle? Mm -hmm. Well, Yes, I really wanted to make something has the emotional attached to the piece. And when I started choreographing, I didn't have much idea how do I connect the emotional part of piece and the steps. But then I thought about the, like a, for example, theatrical roles that this specific person comes from stage left and like, goes to somewhere that's like the old role of like, theatrical roles. And I tried to use that as just simple idea but I tried to put that in the piece. Yeah, that's really beautiful. So it's sort of this simple idea of someone moving across the stage as though they're moving through something in their life. Mm -hmm. And yeah. why did you want to work with Alexei specifically on this solo? Since I've seen Alexei the first time, and since then I was like, wow, he's such a naturally beautiful dancer and he moves so soft and gentle and genuine. He's very genuine. Like I could tell by his, <laughs> his dancing. And I thought this project came up and, oh yeah, he's totally a dancer. Like I wanna make something like creating from the beginning. Working with Kota, I, I can't stress enough how how smooth it was and how, um, how, how nice of an experience it was because he, he was like so clear in his intentions from the beginning. Um, but even with the clarity in his intentions, he was so understanding um, and receptive to how it felt on my body. Or I, I think we had a lot of moments where, um, which I really appreciated where he came in with an idea and he was like, oh, you know, it looks different on my body than it does on yours. And Kota, was this the first time you ever choreographed something? Um, well, first time for the professional dancer, for sure. I choreographed one piece when I was in like school, a uh, chore oh, choreographic workshop. And I've made some, like a small project that, like back in home. It was a very challenging experience. But it sounds like you guys were so great about supporting each other through that. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He, uh, Alexi helped me a lot. And actually like one part, he's like improv, kind of improv. But like I asked him to like, how would you move if you just hear this music and how would you like, like to move? And one day we just tried to do improv for like- Oh, great. Yeah, like 20 minutes, just play the music in the room and just like we both move and put the camera on that day um where we i came in the studio and kota was like we're just gonna improv for a little bit that was such a highlight i think that was a highlight of my experience um because there's been a few times i feel where i've worked in a studio um learning choreography of any kind where the tables kind of turn for a sec and the the, the person at the front of the room is asking you to to see how you would interpret music or how you would move and I still have all the footage from that day um, oh, somewhere on my device, but it was, yeah, such a special moment. And um, I just wanted to say also Kota's one of those dancers I always admire the way he hears music and Absolutely. how he plays with musicality, which is something um, that I, I'm trying to, to uh, experiment more with. And that day was such a clear realization where I was hearing the music one way and then mm -hmm. When I saw how Kota was moving to the music, I was like, oh, you're hearing it this, or you're hearing um, like undertones that I may not have been mm. hearing originally. So what is the music for the piece? Yes, the music I choose was Vivaldi's Trio Sonata in C major. It's a beautiful piece, beautiful, and it's old music. Somehow sounds very modern and new mm -hmm. to me. 
and I thought, oh, this could be, this could have a lots of movement in the music. And so you guys have, while you've been in quarantine at home, you've been working together over FaceTime or Zoom or whatever yes. technology to adapt this solo for film. So what has it been like working together in your separate spaces? Mm -hmm. Yes, it was very challenging, but but then I I, I think me and also like still very like a, has the same view like towards the this project. I think yeah, Alexi like totally understood what I wanted to make out of it. Yes, and you sort of virtually there while Alexi was filming it, or did you just leave him with some instructions? I just left him with some instructions. And what was that like for you, Alexi? It, it was really interesting. So we spoke a few times when the idea was presented and discussed if we were on board. And then from then on, um, it was still very cold at the time and <laughs> parks weren't open yet. And Kota had mentioned filming outside. And I thought that was great too, just in terms of space availability. And because the piece really was about going on a journey, I mm -hmm. felt like being restricted to a room might um, hinder that idea a little bit, so. Oh, great. And who's actually doing the camera work? My lovely sister has <laughs> been gracious enough to help me. <laughs> oh, sweet. And Alexi, how do you find it different performing for the camera versus performing for an audience? It must be quite a shift. It is, and it's made me appreciate live performances <laughs> so much more. Um, <laughs> it, it's, I think a lot of dancers' experiences, it's um, not so satisfying when you watch yourself on camera. And um, I, much, I would much rather feel the moment on, in a performance setting than review it you know, after the fact on a video. Um, yeah. But it's, it's nice to see like, Alexi's face close up. Mm -hmm. And like face could tell so much, so much. And absolutely. Yeah, I really enjoyed watching his video. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for chatting with me about it. Yes, thank you. Thank you so much.